So I got this new alternator to install, which, you know, you gotta get, get fan shroud off and get some access to it. So I go, okay, ought to be easy. Let me just pull the uh, brand new fan clutch off that I just installed less than a month ago. I even got the special tool, right? You just get right in there and uh, it's got all the right bends to get it off. Nope. I had to go borrow a big giant pipe wrench in order to hold that pulley because I could not get that viscous fan off. Keep in mind, this is a brand new one that I put on, didn't over torque or do anything weird on, and it absolutely fought me to come off. And I gave up everything I could do yesterday, gave up trying, and I get this pipe wrench and I'm finally able to hold it and bust it loose. So, what a pain. It's always a little stuff that holds you up. All right, so I've got uh, the alternator out. You can see here's my wiring stuff down here. That's a bit of a mess. And look, one of those little terminal block strips over by my pinky that Europeans absolutely love. Um, and some of the insulation's cracked on the battery wires. And those aren't huge, uh, very heavy thick gauge. So uh, I'll be looking at that wiring a bit, but at least I got the alternator out. So here's a comparison of the uh, the old alternator and the new. Uh, the new one is for a 4.2 liter uh, Range Rover Classic. I don't have the part number off the top of my head, but uh, since that was a vehicle sold in the U.S., it was a little easier to come by. And it's supposed to be a higher amperage. I think it's supposed to be 100 amp, and this is supposed to be 80, if, if I remember right. So uh, it should be higher amperage, but the main thing is I'm hoping this new one actually charges properly and doesn't have a bad rectifier and voltage regulator and whatever else is going on in that one. So what I've done is I compared some measurements between the two and basically this one here is 82.5 millimeters and this one here is 83.6 millimeters. So this mounting distance and this mounting distance are really really close and when I tighten up this rear bolt it'll pull that bushing on in. Now the other critical distance is the distance between these ears. So I've measured that as well. On the old one, it was 141.3. On the new one, it's 140.55. So that's also really damn close. I shouldn't have any weird issues with my, my belt adjuster being, you know, way off or anything like that. So that's, that's really good and close. So this is a little bit tighter. This one's a little bit bigger but that bush will just pull in a bit when you tighten it, and then the ears have the right width. Now, the other thing is that uh, here's the new nut that came on. That's the same threads between the two shafts. So my new one did not come with a pulley, so I'll swap over uh, my old pulley, but uh, at least these threads are the exact same. So let me get that pulley swapped over and see what we find out. All right, I moved over to the clutter workbench for this last one. So the other important thing that I need to look at is the um, the pulley. Make sure the mounting line is right and the pulley is not too far out or too far in, which would make my belt sit crooked. So uh, it's a little precariously per perched up here, but I've basically what I do is with my left hand, I'm holding the ruler um, square to the pulley. And then I've come up and I've measured to the back of the flange and I've come in here and I've measured and I know it's not very uh, precise looking right now but basically I've done this a couple of times and looking at it and holding everything straight and I'm getting 25.3 millimeters for both the old one and the new one back there so I'm pretty confident that the pulley is going to sit at the correct spacing uh, in and out okay so one small problem that I thought I was gonna have is that this uh, cooling fan doesn't, which goes on the old one, doesn't fit on the new one. If you see, the new one's got the fan built into it, so I don't need this, and it doesn't fit. Um, <clears throat> so I can't put it on, but if I don't put it on, I don't have the thickness of this fan uh, spacing the pulley forward. The pulley's going to sit a little bit further back. So I'm going to put in a washer to space her it forward. And what I happen to have sitting around off the shelf is this thing. I think this is what I'm going to use. I measured the thickness of this, and it's 2.84 millimeters. 
I've measured the thickness of this, it's 1.94, including rust, which gives me a difference of about 0.9 millimeters. So if I put this in on the collar behind my pulley, I'll, uh, I'll be spaced forward of where I should be by 0.9 millimeters, which I think is gonna be okay for this old style V-belt. All right, one last measurement before it all goes together. Uh, shaft diameter. I've measured both of them, they appear identical. That's 17 millimeters and it's nice and tight on the pulley so i think i'm good to put this on all right there's that d plus wire that brown and yellow it's all cracked and everything uh and even see somebody patched it in right there with some soldering that other green wire is my uh temperature sender um yeah not sure exactly what's going on there but uh Boy, that insulation sure is cracked and broken. So I started pulling the harness back. I've got it back all the way up to here. Now I'm gonna go chasing it. I think that goes over to the starter if I if I understand right. Oh look, there's a there's a look look at that right there. That's yellow and green striped. What what the what is that doing? Alright, this is all coming out. I gotta I gotta I gotta make this better. All right, since I'm in here, here's a pet peeve of mine. Zip ties that aren't flush cut. And if you look, they're all around. Everybody does this all the time. And guess what? There's this sharp little thing poking out here, waiting for you to rub your hand or the back of your arm along it and just absolutely cut you up. I mean, they're just little sharp things sticking out, ready to grab you, and there's absolutely no reason for that. So this is one of the ones I cut off. Somebody trimmed the zip tie right look they trimmed it but they didn't flush cut it here's one that i just went and i flush cut look at how nice and even that is and you can rub your hand on it and everything like look there's nothing sticking out so people get a pair of flush cutters i i really love these these are uh, ex uh excelite they're actually esd safe uh really really strong and make a perfect nice flat flush cut